Welcome back to part six of our Audacity skills review. I'm going to continue working. Uh, close out this file. I saved it as a Metal Bowl part three, just to make sure I didn't lose any of the stuff that I did earlier. Okay, I'm going to close the file. And it's going to automatically open up a new fi uh, file for us. And I'm going to import our bowl file from earlier. Actually, I should just open that, shouldn't I? Yeah. And again, import it. I could import that wave file we saved earlier. I'll, I'll just open the metal bowl file. Okay. All right. And I'm going to immediately save it as something else so I don't erase the original metal bowl file. So save project as. And we're going to call this metal bowl four. It's always important to try to make backups and keep track of your versions so that you don't overwrite something. Uh, it, particularly when you're in the experimenting phase, you really need to keep good track of your files structure, your naming of files, the variations that you're doing so that you don't overwrite something that you really, really liked because it's nothing can be worse than erasing something that you really liked. So, okay. So this next uh, thing we're going to look at is panning. Now in, in more advanced audio software, you can actually have a panning envelope similar to how we had that volume envelope. Unfortunately, Audacity does not do a pan envelope. The only way to do panning effects is to duplicate your track. So we're going to do that. We're going to we're going to copy this file here and we're going to paste to a new track. All I did was control copy, click underneath and it automatically pasted it into a new track. Now notice it it pasted the envelope that I had done just a second ago. <clears throat> so but the thing is, it's still an independent track. It has its own envelope and we can still control and change the envelope. So they're going to work independently of one another. So that's nice. Now, panning means going from left to right or right to left in the stereo field, your right ear to your left ear, your left ear to your right ear. And that is controlled right here. Now, again, we can't change this over time in Audacity with, uh, with an envelope like we did with the volume. Uh, it, it's wherever we set it here is where it stays. So the way to do that is, like I said, copy the track, pan one all the way to the left and the other one to the right. And now we can control our volume levels for each side, the left and the right side. So let's say I want to make this move from one from the right side to the left side. So we're going to start here and we're going to we're going to fade this out this way. And then we're going to do the exact opposite. We're going to put, and I'm, of course, I'm using those nodes that I already put in. We're going to do the exact opposite here. No, nope, I need to add a node here to make, no, nope, just move this one down. There we go. You can click and drag the nodes and move them around. Now, this may not come over the vid YouTube video because sometimes the algorithms will make everything mono. But hopefully, if you try this on your own, you're going to hear the sound move from the right ear to the left ear. So that is a the quick and dirty way of panning in Audacity. Now, if you wanted to work on this in a separate uh, file and then import it into the big project, that's a way to do that. You can export the wave this way and then you can deal with one file. Okay, so you could export this as a wave file. Let's try to put it back in the yeah. desktop. Whoops, wrong button. There we go. Uh, so we could call this uh, metal bowl pan and exercise or something like that. Okay, again, just to keep clear what I'm uh, doing and not doing. Okay, and again, you can type in all this extra information if you want the uh, the metadata, the track name, the album title, and all that kind of thing. But the, right now, just Make sure you name your file really well. That's the most important thing. Okay, so it just exported it. And now I can close this. And now I can import that file that I just made. 
There it is. Now it should be one stereo track. So exporting um, in that regard, we call that a mix down. I took those two different tracks that I had with the envelope and I mixed it down into one stereo track. And you may want to do that if it makes it easier to work with your files. If you've got a long sustained sound like this and uh, rather than trying to deal with two separate tracks, now it's all in one track. So that is a way that you can do that, have it in one stereo track. All right, we're gonna pick things up in the next one with looking at actually developing an entire piece with different ideas.